Hello all. In this video, we are going to see how to configure Oracle database with the Eclipse development environment. This will be helpful in whenever you are working in an application where you are making a lot of DB changes. So you can select the latest, uh, you can download the latest Eclipse, uh, latest Eclipse, and and you have to open a Java EE perspective. After that, you have to find for a data source explorer uh, view. So as of now, I don't I don't see that. So I'll just go to the window, show view, and in the show view, you'll find a data source explorer. If this is not distinct down here, you just click other, and and in this case, just type data source explorer. Okay, now it will be shown here. And so, so in this video, we are going to see how to configure Oracle database as well as SQLite database with Eclipse. First, I'll show the Oracle database. You just need to right click the database connection and click new. And you have to select the Oracle in this list of database and name your database connection name as well as I'll just put it as like an Oracle and click next. So uh, you have to configure the driver by default Eclipse did not ship the driver, database driver you have to download the corresponding driver from the internet and you have to configure to configure just I, you can click a new driver definition and select whatever the driver and click on the jars list you can add jar or zip whatever you want you can select you can add it actually so in my case i have already configured which is like a oracle thin driver and i have configured oracle jar list i mean like a jar list ojdbc 14 dot jar once you configure the uh, driver definition you have to provide the uh, database server details i have entered the database server details and i'm going to connect with sysss dba first And I'm going to as a DBA user testing the connection. The connection succeeded. Click next and you can review it and click finish. After connecting, you can when you click this SID, you will list down all the schemas which is under uh, database because we connected Sysis DBA. Let's connect, uh, let's create a new schema and table through uh, like SQL scrapbook. Just you have to right click on the database connection name and click open SQL scrapbook. So in this under the names, you have to, uh, I mean it, it lists down what are the configured databases. I'm just going to select the Oracle so, and the database will be your SID. Now let's create a new schema. Uh, called 100 bytes and provide a uh, provide a minimum privilege so with this all terminated with semicolons select all right click and exit all this will create the schema and now let's create a new connection where you can uh, where you can con con connect it through 100 bytes where you'll do all your uh, operations so again go back to the database uh, data source explorer right click on database connection click new and similarly oracle so i'm going to with oracle underscore 100 bytes and click next so similarly you have to provide the db details and I'm connecting as a use uh, connecting as a user testing the connection okay and click finish this will connect kind of this will create a new configuration profile uh, with the for the same database with user uh, 100 bytes Select the Oracle 100 bytes uh, connection right click and open SQL new scrapbook where in that you will you will select your Oracle 100 bytes and the database will be your virtual listing the SID uh, let's create a, a table and insert some values in that. So first I'm going to create a table. Right click, execute selected statement as a one statement. So this is, this has created and I'm going to insert this all the values. Now, now let's pull all the entries from the test table. The select statement is uh, completed where we can see the results the results can be seen in the SQL results view we already you have already seen that SQL results views come uh, divided into two parts where you will see the history as well as uh, status in addition to that, there is one more tab called result in the tab you will see all those 
values are listing here but these values are uh, like read only you can't edit anything suppose if you want to edit it in the table like a like a spreadsheet so for that what you can go is like go to the data source explorer and uh, drop down your uh, i mean like go to your corresponding connection and drop and, and open list the all the schemas under that you will find your your schema so you will have to go to the corresponding tables i'm going to write, uh, right click and go to the data and click edit so this will open it in the op open uh, this will pull all the values and open it in a spreadsheet uh, like a tabular column so where you can easily edit it as well edit and uh, edit and save it i mean sorry commit it so you see here click new row whatever you want to do let's i'm going to uh, add a one uh, another user called 104 and user 5 and i'm going to delete uh, delete the correspond i mean 102 user and change the u 103 user uh, uh, user name as a was user 6 and once you all once you all all the changes are done you just need to press control s this will commit the changes in the database and click s okay now the, you see in the status all the uh, whatever it is required uh, statements are executed by automatically and let's let's try to execute from the scrapbook that is like select star from test table right click and execute selected statements this will pull the updated values yeah, it's completed and go to the result you see here 103 is changed to 106 and 104 uh, a new user has added this is how you have to configure the oracle database and work with the oracle database in the eclipse uh, development environment now let's see how to configure uh, configure the sqlite database uh, that is also a similar to oracle data source so what you have to do is like uh, like similarly you click right click on database connection and instead of oracle you have to select sqlite okay and you can name it name the connection and click next similarly uh, you have to configure the uh, driver definition so i have already con configured the driver definition you have to download in the from the internet and the configure it once you configure it, you can provide a database location and whatever the name you can provide i'll just provide 100 bytes whatever this is newly creating data source i mean database so just connect and put to a test connection that should be succeed always and click next and review the changes and click finish that's it you have the data escalate data source also database also configured with eclipse development environment okay that's all about configuring the databases with eclipse thanks for watching this video please visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials thank you